it's Betsy from Happily Ever After etc and I am back with another garden project. So today we are doing a bit of a funny project. We are going to be digging up the one, two, three, four, five, six red knockout roses that I have along the front of the garden here. They're beautiful. You can see the remnants of a few blooms down here. They bloomed for us early in the spring and they are literally putting out buds now to bloom a second time. Um, knockout roses are great because they just keep blooming and the longer you have them planted, the more blooms they put off every summer. I love them, but when I first planted them um, last year, it was around mid-July. And so I really wanted pink ones and I could only find red. And at the time I was like, it's fine. It's not a big deal. But the longer my garden has matured, and now that it's gone through a full season, um, I just am not super thrilled with the red. I really wanted pink, and what I thought was going to be a small thing has turned into just something that eats at me. And I wouldn't replace them um, for no reason. But my mom's working on the front of her house. You've been over there with me doing lots of projects. And she mentioned last week that she wants red. So she was going to go out and buy a bunch of red knockout roses, probably not six, probably one or two. Um, but she knows I want pink. So she proposed that she buy six pink ones and we swap the pink here and she take the red to her house. So, you know, one of the best philosophies I've heard time and time again, that's really hard for me is that if you don't like something in the garden, change it. Plants are versatile. You can dig them up, you can move them. They are not permanent in their spots forever. So we are going to dig these up and we are going to take them to her house. And then we are going to replant new ones here. They're up on the porch. Some pink knockout roses for me. I will be much happier. Um, this year it will be very, very pink because I planted all these Super Tunia Vista bubblegum and in effort to up the pink quota in my garden when I wasn't happy with the red roses. So with the red being gone and pink roses and pink bubble gum, we will have double pink, which honestly I'm not mad about. If I could, and I could, I would honestly just have an all pink garden, just all different shades of pink, maybe some white, maybe some purple. And that's pretty much what I have, but I'd be fine with all pink. I know a lot of people wouldn't, it makes me happy. And isn't that the point of your garden is to make you happy. So we are going to start by digging up two of these, um, and then replacing them. So I have six of the pink knockout bushes, but the other thing that I wasn't in love with all season is that, well, I like them being similar across the front. I didn't like all six being the same when you go around the corner and I have a bit more varied um, options in the plants. I really like that kind of cottagey look better. So I'm going to do four pink roses across the front and two purple butterfly bushes. And that will just give me a little bit of a different look. They are the same size as the knockouts. They get two to three feet tall and wide, but they have pretty bluish purple blooms that will just give me a little bit of a different structure and color um, in amongst the pink without it being taken away from that rose look all across the front. So we are going to actually go over to mom's house. There's going to be a lot of traveling today. So you're going to see me teleport, but we're going to go over to mom's house. We're going to dig the holes there, come back here, dig the roses up, go back to mom's house, plant the roses, come back here, plant my roses. Because once we take these out of the ground, the transplanted plants, the transplanted roses, they need to get in their new ground, in their new homes as soon as possible. They'll be stressed out and not super thrilled with their lives for a moment. So we are going to get started by teleporting to moms. Let's go. Okay, so we're at mom's house. Teleportation is complete. So we have, mom's not doing six roses in a row across the front. She's putting them kind of staggered all over the front of her house. And of course the front of her house is much bigger than the front of my house. So there 
there's lots more cars here. If you've watched any of the last couple videos we've done at mom's house, we just put this drip irrigation in the whole bed. We laid down this paver pathway and we put all this creeping flocks in that we are not 100% sure is alive, but look, this one's green. Yeah, there's, there's more green. There's more green really like. than we, we thought, but we're still not sure. Either way, right here is where she wants to put the first rows. So you're gonna rake the magnolia leaves. Yeah. You're gonna tell them about your magnolia tree. Oh, this magnolia tree. It is the worst litter bug. So I'm thinking about getting it, taking it out. I hate to, but it's an old tree. So hate to remove it, but it's also been, it's been hacked, just destroyed by the power company, keeping it away from the lines. Yeah. So A, it's a litter bug. B, She's afraid it's going to eventually fall on her house. So she's eventually going to have to remove the tree for safety reasons anyways. She'd rather do it now while she's just starting to tear apart this garden bed. Right? Yep. Just get it done. So trying to decide what to put in its place if she does remove it. If you guys have any suggestions, put them down in the comment section below and I will read them to mom. You know we're gonna put a rose here. So where exactly do you want them? Well, I'm thinking here, there. I don't know. Of course, I probably want it right here, but that stupid root thing is in the way. I mean, you can always pull it over a little bit. So I'm sure it's probably good. So do you want it there? Um, I mean, because you can put it right next to this. So the root ball will get lots of water. Yeah. Let's move some of this uh, right here. Oh, <laughs> her neighbor is starting to cut down a tree over there. I was like, what is that noise? Yeah. Talked about that in a past video. She's doing a lot of work. Okay, do you know where you want it? I think that's good. I really need to remove any more birds here. I think hard time. Okay. Here? Mom, you want to get some gloves? Where are you going? We're doing a video. I'm going to talk to the neighbor, I guess. You're planting under a tree that you are trying to keep. Yeah. You may need to plant smaller things where you don't have to cut as many roots. But in this case, we're not super worried about it. And then we'll mix some rose tone in there when we plant the rose. All right. On to the next hole. Can you get up? Yes. Yeah. Bring our, Bring our stiff. stiff. <laughs> it's gonna come back and help.
Okay, so we put a hole here and a hole over there for the two roses and we moved what was the dead dogwood from last year. Mom was trying to decide if she was gonna keep it or not, but it's been in for a year and you could see it just was not doing good. Um, dogwoods are, what do they call them, Mom? I don't know if they have a name, but they're supposed, they do best when they're under planted under a larger tree. Understory. Understory. Right, wait two seconds to do that. <laughs> Which means if they're more in the sun, out of the canopy, they need a lot more water. So we're going to run. special drip emitter from the drip irrigation right to the root ball so it gets lots of water and this one should do much better but for now mom's just going to water it in with the hose then we'll go over to my house dig up these two roses and we will come plant them so as soon as we're done watering this tree we'll go All right, y'all, so we're back from my house. We've got our rose, turn that around. We've got the same rose tone that I've been using every other week on my roses at my house. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put some in the bottom of our hole so that we have some good rose fertilizer. Hopefully these transplanted roses will be happy. You did. Now you broke it. At least one more. Yeah, I would. gonna fill it in. All right, y'all, I'm gonna do the other one. Apparently, Cheryl needs a ride, so. Yeah. When we're done planting, we'll do that. 
all the roots in. Make sure when you backfill you're really pushing that dirt in, tamping it down, alleviating all the air pockets. stages so we're going to do these two today and then you'll see it in a second we're going to do it on Saturday we're going to do the other four later and then I still have to go back to my house and plant the two butterfly bushes so we're just going to keep working on it till they're all done let's water these guys in okay. you got it? Yeah, I guess I it. Good. Okay, here's our first 
rose in my garden. This is the new pink one. Then instead of the two roses in the middle, so I had six across the front, I put in two of these really pretty purple. They're like a lavender color butterfly bushes. I do like the roses. Here's another one. So you can see kind of around the rose here where this one, the old rose we transplanted was bigger. So that's okay. They'll still, you know, they'll grow. And next year they'll be just as big as they were this year. Here's another one. There's definitely more room back here than there was with the other one. But there's a little bit of a spent bloom. So you can see that pink color is just more what I was looking for. Here's the second butterfly bush. And... This rose is actually much bigger than the other one since my, my rose down here was the smallest. But I did leave the tag on these butterfly bushes. So you can see it is a Budlia butterfly bush called Butterfly Candy. I really like them. So there's a bunch of spent blooms on them now, but you can see lots of little buds. So We'll have more blooms before long. And that is, that is kind of how it's looking now. Definitely have to fill in a little more, but for the most part, it, it didn't change anything too much. And uh, I'm just going to, I think back here, <laughs> you can see I'm drinking a soda. Back here where some of these open places are, you know, I'm not going to fill in too much, but I do have quite a few more iris bulbs to plant. So we'll probably just pop some irises in in some of these open places. And then next year, that will all fill in even more. All right, y'all, so that is all six roses. Um, as you can see, mom has put them kind of around the garden instead of all in a row, which will be really pretty as the rest of the garden bed builds in. We still have plenty of other things to plant. We are doing an entire video just on foundation plantings for mom's house. So she's doing new garden beds. She Foundation plants are those big pieces like trees or vitex or bushes, big bushes, um, that will then anchor the garden bed for the rest of the pieces. So we're doing a whole video on all of those things, things like this vitex and the dogwood that we're planting. Um, I'll leave a link to that below. But for today, we are done transferring all the bushes. Since we got all of mine planted, my house is also done. And I know it was kind of not necessary to dig them up and bring them over here and get me new ones. I could have just stuck with what I had. But like I said at the beginning of the video, if you don't like something in your garden, just change it. Just move it, dig it up, transplant it, give it to a friend, swap with someone. There's always plant swaps. Especially if you have a small garden like mine, I don't have a lot of room for different plants. So I have to really like all the plants I have. And when I finally got those two butterfly bushes in, I just felt like that's what I wanted. That's what I needed. I like that space a lot more now. I hate to lose a whole season worth of growth with the roses, but it's one season. Daisy, come here. Ooh. 
everything's fine. Daisy, mom's little dachshund, cream dachshund girl, went under this big bush and there is a mama cat under there with her kittens. And Daisy must have got too close to those kittens and mama cat told her the what for. So um, Daisy's not going under that bush anymore. She's giving it a wide berth. <laughs> I'll try to go over there and sneak you guys a peek of the kittens. They're so cute. We've seen them around here several times, but mama cat keeps moving them because there's too much activity, I think. So we didn't know where they were today. Um, regardless, I hope you liked this video. The roses are all planted. I'm really happy with what I have now and mom is very happy with what she has. I will go ahead and put some glamour shots, as glamorous as you can get with beds that aren't done here and the beds at my house with all the different roses of where they ended up. And I will try to go get you guys a sneak peek at the kittens. So until next time, bye all. Daisy, did you see that mama cat? Did you go see mama cat? Okay guys, so this is the bush. And if we come over here, Hello, guy. Mama kitten must have, must have taken the other little kitten. There's the little black kitten. There's a little gray kitten as well. Right, I think he's gonna go yep, under the house. Pretty sure they're living under there. Did Mama kitten already take Sissy in there? There we go. <laughs> so that is where Daisy went. We were working right over here. And she just came under this bush and found a bunch of kittens. It's two of them, a little black and a little gray one. They must both be under the house now. So I went back a couple hours later after everything had settled down and found Mama Cat out with her kittens. Previously, I had only ever seen two of them, but it looks like she has at least four. And as soon as she started to see me, she went under the house and the kittens started to follow. But they are so cute and we will just try to keep the dogs away from this area for a while so that they don't disturb them. The kittens are obviously, you know, they're walking, their eyes are open. They're at least three, four weeks old, if not older, but they're so cute. <laughs> and here is one of the little gray ones. I got this clip last week. And you can hear her. She's just crying for her mama. I think this is when mama was moving them. 